Well, Saturday, the Wildlife World Zoo, Aquarium and Safari Park is opening up free admission to the first 1,000 law enforcement officers and their families. I love this event. This is so great so because neat. it's not just walking in and checking out the zoo. They can do all the attractions. I know mm -hmm. Mike Broomhead, who's a radio host here yeah. in town, helped get this going. Anita live at the zoo. And Mickey, the owner there, boy, is he uh, giving quite a bit. Hey, oh, that's him. Look at him. Look at Mickey. Mickey. Mickey is one of my favorite people. Mickey and I bonded over this map, and I'm going to tell you about that in just a moment. Tell us about Saturday, Mickey, well, because this is a fun day. Sure. Well, we're really excited, Anita, about Saturday because this Saturday we're going to allow all sworn law enforcement officers and three members of their family into Wildlife World Zoo Aquarium for free complimentary they're going to get complimentary rides and we also have discounts in all four of our cafes in the zoo tell me why you decided to do this well the good folks at sanderson ford along with people at kfyi we decided to sponsor a special day to say thank you to those law enforcement officers for all they do so all they got to do is bring their badge or their id mm -hmm. any agency from anywhere if they're a law enforcement officer to get into the zoo with three members of their family for free. And there's so much to see for free. Tell everyone about the different attractions and exhibits they can enjoy. Well, we have by far Arizona's largest collection of exotic animals. And, you know, Anita, we have 10 different rides here as well. Yeah. Everything from a merry-go-round to the kids to zip line. We were just talking about the zip line. The zip line's a fun right, one, Mickey. Right, right. Always some baby animals, oh. sea lion show, wildlife encounter shows. Yes. The shows are, con are free, of course, to everyone. And we want everybody that may not be a law enforcement officer to come out to the zoo Saturday and show your support for these people that put their lives on the yes. line every day to keep us safe. Fantastic. Okay, so I believe in manifesting what you want, right? Manifesting your dreams. And so Mickey told me, I was here, I don't know, some random live shot. Mickey and I started chatting. This is the story, you guys. Mickey was about 12 years old. You were sick, Mickey. I was sick. I had the chicken pox or the mumps or the measles or something. something. And I was I was bored because I couldn't go to class. And so I drew what my zoo one day was going to look like when I was in fourth or fifth grade. Because and you loved animals from a very young age. And you yeah. said, I want to draw a zoo. Yeah. Fast forward a number of years, your mom passes away. Right. And my aunt found this in her belongings about 10 or 15 years after the zoo had uh, been open. So a few years ago, so my staff and my daughter put this together and this is the map that I drew, drawn that was uh, found in my mother's belongings after her passing and of course our current map right there yes and then the invitation here from the first day 35 years ago when we opened Wildlife World Zoo okay. so it's been a dream come true Anita it certainly has let me point out some of the different things that we're seeing the ponds yes some ponds some islands uh, we have some wavy lines in there for water we have some circles for the big trees which we now have here at wildlife world zoo and so the ponds right behind us and and so it it truly has been uh being in the right place at the yeah. right time and you had no idea that you didn't remember drawing this map when you opened this zoo and mapped it out no i had no idea until it was found in my mother's belongings that wow. she had saved it for those who have not and want to come out saturday to support and enjoy where are you located Mm -hmm. We're at uh, Northern Avenue at the 303 in the West Valley, just six miles north of I-10, six miles south of Bell Road, right in the center of the fine West Valley. Can't miss it, you guys. And we're not going to walk over because we're getting the wrap. But if you do come out here, you have to go see those singing dogs because they are the cutest little things. They will come right up to the fence and they actually sing. I'm going to post a little video on my social media in just a moment here. Ballad? Is it, how, what do they too. sing? Like, well, you know. Like a, uh, right now, Jingle Bells, because it's in season. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Anita, please uh, pass along to Mickey how much we think what he's yeah. doing is awesome. Uh, the, bringing out all of those law enforcement families. So great. And saying yeah. thank you for what they yeah. do. So that's, that, that, I think, is so great. Yeah. We've been talking about that all morning. Right. Good stuff. Great thank you. Great story, Anita. All right. So Corey